It really feels like the cryptocurrency movement has really taken over the world in the last year or so. Pretty much everyone I know and their grandma has some type of cryptocurrency. Over 99% of your money is invested into cryptocurrencies. How do you go about spending money on your everyday purchases? like actually getting food or paying for rent or everything else that you actually have to purchase. Well, luckily, plenty of different cryptocurrency cards have actually been released in the last year or so. In today's video, we'll actually take a look at some of the more popular ones, which is the Crypto.com Visa card. Now, if you've been investing in cryptocurrencies for a while now, or even though you're just getting your toes wet, the Crypto.com Visa card could be a great choice for you as it offers a convenient as well as a safe way to just access and spend your cryptocurrencies in the physical world. The card also comes with some great benefits such as cashback, free airport lounge access, free ATM withdrawals, and even a private jet partnership if you do have $350,000 just laying around. Now, if you do want to sign up for a crypto.com card, you can use my referral link in the description or the link in the description down below to get $25 for free when you do sign up and get your card approved. First of all, crypto.com is like an all-in-one cryptocurrency platform. It allows you to buy, sell, send, and receive cryptocurrency directly from the app, similar to what you would see on Coinbase. It also allows you to use the staking feature, which lets you earn up to 14.5% interest on your cryptocurrency assets. You also have the cryptocurrency credit, which allows you to borrow up to 50% of your cryptocurrency collateral. And finally, the crypto.com is mostly known for their cryptocurrency debit cards. For the cards themselves, Crypto.com currently offers seven different cards in five different tiers. The first one being the free Midnight Blue card, but they also have the Ruby Steel, Royal Indigo, Jade Green, Frosted Rose Gold, Icy White, as well as the Obsidian card. Each of these cards are technically free of charge, including shipping. However, all the cards will require you to stake some CRO tokens, except for the Midnight Blue one, which is completely free of charge and doesn't require you to stake any tokens. Now, if you're not super familiar with cryptocurrencies, you're probably asking yourself, what is staking and what are CRO tokens? Well, CRO tokens or crypto.com coins is the native cryptocurrency used on a crypto.com platform. And to apply for a card, applicants are essentially required to just lock up a set amount of CRO tokens in their crypto.com account for a full six month period. Now, after the six month period, you're essentially allowed to do whatever you want with your zero tokens. However, if you go below the required amount needed for your specific card that you applied for, your benefits as well as the cashback will also be reduced. In terms of the zero tokens required, the Midnight Blue, as I said, is completely free of charge, but also comes with almost no benefits at all. The Ruby Steel card requires you to stake around $350 worth of zero tokens, the Royal Indigo and Jade Green will be $3,500. The Frosted Rose Gold and Icy White is going to be $35,000. And lastly, the Obsidian card will require you to stake $350,000 worth of zero tokens. And of course, the more zero tokens you actually stake, the better card you can apply for and the more benefits and the better benefits you will get as well. Let's actually talk about the total cost of getting one of these cards and let's talk about Ruby Steel, which is going to be the most popular option on the crypto.com platform. As mentioned, your offering cost or investment in the card itself will actually be $350 worth of zero tokens. But with that in mind, with the card itself, you'll also be getting a 2% cash back on all your purchases made with the card itself. So let's say, for example, you spend $1,000 a month on your card during a 12 month period. And $1,000 a month is really gonna be a low ball here. Some people might be spending 5,000, some people might be spending 10,000. It's really about like your monthly spending on your card. But let's say you spend $1,000 on your card a month for a 12 month period. That would mean that you would make around $250 worth of cash back throughout that 12 month period. On top of this, you'll also get 100% money reimbursement on your Spotify monthly subscription. So if you have a monthly subscription on Spotify and paying for it using your crypto card, you'll actually make $120 per year or you'll save $120 per year by just using the card. Now, lastly, if you're also using my referral code, you will also get the additional $25 for free once you do sign up for the card. This will mean that you would end up with, assuming that the zero token price would stay roughly the same, you would end up with a total of $385 after the 12 month period. Now this calculation in reality will actually look a little bit different depending on the fluctuations of the value of the CRO tokens. As long as you hold the tokens for a long time and if you see the value of the CRO tokens in the future, like crypto.com is most likely not going to go bankrupt anytime soon, 
then I wouldn't really worry too much about the short term price of the zero tokens. Now over to the app, it does come in an easy to use design and it's loaded with all types of features that you would expect from a cryptocurrency app, such as crypto wallet, you have a fiat wallet, crypto tracker, you have the stake and the earn feature, as well as an overview of your Visa card as well. Now, once you start making purchases with your card, all your transactions will also be automatically added and show up in the app, including the cashback that will be added to your wallet as well. Now, I've found that the app is actually really easy to use and it's great overall, especially the buying and selling process, which they've really narrowed down in this app and made it just as easy as it should be. Now, in the app, you can just quickly make a cryptocurrency purchase or just top up your fiat wallet with your local currency. And it just takes a couple of minutes, if even that. Now, as for the interest rate that you get from staking CRO tokens, it currently starts at a minimum of 5,000 tokens staked, which converges to around $1,800 total. Now, the interest used to be a lot higher on crypto.com, but nowadays, if you were to stake 5,000 CRO tokens or more, you will get around 10% APR interest paid daily. Now, this interest rate is definitely nothing to brag about if you compare it to other things in the cryptocurrency space. There's a lot of things that will give you a lot better interest comparison to crypto.com. But with that in mind, if you compare it to traditional banks, the average bank interest rate in 2021 was just 0.06%. That's nothing. So all in all, this will be a much better deal for anyone who has a fair amount of money in a traditional bank account. Now, as for the app, if you were to lose your card, you can, as with any other fintech startup, freeze your card directly within the app. And you can also unfreeze it just as easy. But specifically for crypto.com, something that I found interesting is that you can reset your pin within the app. Now, this is not something I've seen before. You usually have to request a new card. So that's a great feature. So if you ever forget your pin or if someone wants to just steal your pin, they can just reset it in the app and get a new one. Now, jumping over to the fees on crypto.com, there's no annual, monthly or delivery fee for the cards. ATM withdrawals are also free up to $400 with the Ruby Steel card. And this is also increased to $800 with the Royal Indigo or the Jade Green card. And finally, you'll be paying somewhat normal trading fees on all trading activity in the app with 0.4% maker fee and a 0.4% taker fee for users with a trading volume between zero and $25,000 per 30 day period. These trading fees are of course also lowered as your trading volume increases or if you decide to pay for the trading fees with the app native CRO token. Now, the only downside so far that I've experienced with the app itself is that it sends you way too many notifications. And I know this might seem very picky, but I currently receive around 10 different notifications a day of price alerts for currencies I haven't even asked to be notified about. Now, this would have been a different story if I did receive notifications for things that I actually wanted to know about. If I wanted to follow the price of Bitcoin, please send me notifications about it. If I want to know notifications about something else, please send me that as well. But it shouldn't just send you 10 random notifications every day because it doesn't make sense unless I've asked for it. And of course, you can always mute all the notifications. But if you, in case you set up something that you actually want to track, you will not have that option because you will just get spammed anyway. So if someone at crypto.com is watching this video, please make sure fix your notifications because the app is just way too spammy at this point. Now, all in all, I would say that the crypto.com card as well as the app is definitely going to be worth it for anyone who is at least a little bit invested into cryptocurrencies and is actually looking for a convenient and a safe way to just spend and invest their cryptocurrencies in everyday purchases. Now, as for which card I would recommend you to get, I would by the very least get the Ruby Steel card. But if you're a bit more invested into cryptocurrencies, obviously the Royal Indigo or the Jade Green is gonna be a great option. But if you're heavily invested into cryptocurrencies or if you have somewhat above average savings, then obviously the Frosted Rose Gold or the Icy White or the Obsidian card will give you the most benefits overall for your money. And if you want to get any of the crypto.com cards, make sure you use my referral code or the link down in the description to get $25 for free when you do sign up for the card.